Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be the Valentine's Day tag. So you guys, I was looking around through YouTube trying to find a tag to do for Valentine's Day because I really like to do like holiday themed tags. And I found this tag, it's a Valentine's Day tag. I can't remember who originally did it, but um, if I find if I find out who originally did the tag, I would definitely link it in the description box below with their channel and the, the link to the video as well. But I'm going to try to run through this because I don't have too much time. I don't have too much space left on my memory card, so I'm going to try to run through this before it runs out of space and I have to like start all over again. So the first question is a standalone book that you love and like this was not hard at all because well it wasn't hard but it was kind of hard because like damn when I looked at my bookshelf I was like wow I don't have too many standalone books but when I thought about it when I actually looked through my bookshelf I was like what the hell How, why do I need to think about this as a standalone book and the book I'm talking about is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak and I love this book so freaking much I read this book last year it's really really freaking good I still even have like my little page bags in here um, marking you know things that I like loved in this book like pictures and like because they did have some really really cool um, illustrations in this book I really enjoyed that so freaking much and after I read this book I went from me some fan art um, of this book on Instagram and oh my god you guys like I think I emailed them to myself if I find them I'll, I'll like put it in so you guys can see it This book was so good. Now when I first started reading this, I didn't think that I was going to like this. And I read this because I was in the Broken Book Club on um, Goodreads. And this was the read for that two months, for those two months. And oh my god, I, I'm so happy that I read this book. Now at first, when I first started off reading, I was like, mm, I don't know. But by before I even got to the middle of the book, I was like, yeah, I freaking love this book. And oh my god, it's so emotional. I cried at the end. You guys should definitely go pick up this book. You cannot tell me that you have not heard anything about this book, especially being on book two. You guys need to go pick up this book and read it and definitely come and let me know what you guys thought about it down below in the comments. We should get some comments popping about this book because I love this book so freaking much. Like definitely. And I think I did my review on Goodreads for it. If I did, I'm going to find it linked below also. So definitely go pick up this book and let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about it. The second question is a dystopian book that you love. This also is not hard, but um, I couldn't pick one. So I have two. I, I dropped it down to two that I really liked. And one of them is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I love this book so freaking much. I did my review on that. Also, I'm going to like put it in the eye so you guys can see it. Guys, I love this book so much. And by the end of it, my heart was just pumping nonstop because it left on all so much action and on such a big cliffhanger. You guys have to read this book. Like, um, I have not read the second book yet, but that's because I've been on my maternity leave and I haven't had the money to buy it because I haven't been working. So I'm definitely, 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 this is like going to be the first book I buy when I like go back to work and get my check. I'm going to buy this, the second book for this trilogy. And also for the next book that I'm about to tell you guys about that was also one of my favorite dystopian books that I have read. And that book is Red Queen by Victoria Aviar. Like I know you guys knew that I was about to bring this book up because I bring this book up in almost every freaking video. I'm definitely going to buy the last book for this trilogy also when I get paid that also just came out on the 7th. So I'm definitely going to go and pick that crap up because I'm never behind on this trilogy ever. I always, I usually pre-order the book but like I said I've been on maternity so I haven't been working but definitely believe when I get paid this is going to be the book this is going to be one of the, the one of the two books that I'm definitely going by so you guys you guys need to pick this freaking book up you guys know how much I love this book I also did a review for this I will also link this on the eye so you guys can see my review for Red Queen if you guys have not started reading this series this trilogy because I think it's going to be a series I thought it's going to be a trilogy but I heard somebody saying that there's going to be another book come out next year um if so that's perfect with me because I'm not ready for this to end I'm not at all like I'm not ready for this relationship to end whatsoever so you guys need to go and check out my review for this book as well and oh my god you guys so we can talk about this like we need to talk about this book I need someone to talk about this week like for real like I've been talking to my fiance about it but I need someone else to talk about it with like he's the only person like real life that I can talk about this book with because my mom has not read it's just I he's been reading also but he's still reading class story he's like he doesn't read how I read. Like, he does not read every day like I read every day. So, it takes him. Like, he'll put this book down for, like, weeks before he pick it up and start reading again. I can't do it. I, I don't know how he did it with this. I don't know. I'll never know. Number three is a book that you love but no one else talks about. And this was so easy because I have loved this book for so many years. Like, this was a book I read years ago when all I used to do was check him out from the library. And it is Nevermore by Kelly Craig or Craig. I don't know how you say her name. 
but when I first read this book at the library I did not know that it was supposed to you know have more books come after it so I only read that one book and when I went on Goodreads to find it because I didn't know who I couldn't remember you know the author name or anything it's a freaking trilogy I'm going to go get them I'm going to go buy all those books so I could I could read book number one again and I love this book so much I have never seen anybody talk about it on on booktube and I'm going to go search after like I've never heard anyone bring this book up and this book was so good it ties in like Edgar Allan Poe into like this real world and it's like a travel between different worlds like I love this book it's like a travel between a different world and, like different poems from Edgar Allan Poe like different stories and tales like from Edgar Allan Poe like who would not love that like you guys should like go check that out that crap out because it's like really good I'm gonna go and get them and I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna read the whole freaking trilogy because I only read the first book so I don't know about the whole trilogy but I know the first book was never more is so freaking good number four is favorite book couple now this is a couple from Snow Like Ashes and I know you guys know what I'm talking about and that is going to be Mare and Mather even though they're not technically together so far as I know I haven't read the last book yet there's also going to be a book that I'm going to buy but actually this is the last book because I read the first two which is Snow Like Ashes and Ice Like Fire and oh my god you guys those are that's my favorite book couple like real stuff I just wish they would stop playing games and like get together already and be together even though they're not telling us together that's my favorite couple and don't try to tell me differently number five is a book that everyone else loves but you haven't gotten to yet and that would have to be the throne of glass series by Sarah J Mass. and oh my god you guys I want to read this series I wanted to start this series a while ago too that's one of the series that I'm definitely on my list is at least start this year because I everybody talks about this series just so much on book two and don't get me wrong it's not that it sounds good it's just that I'm, I'm scared because it's so hyped up usually like really hyped up books don't really end up well for me especially if I'm like yeah this book better be as good as everybody else saying it is and I read it and I'm like critiquing every little thing because I'm like they say it's so freaking good so it better be this damn good I hold it to a high standard and the smallest thing will just knock me off my rock away so I hope that this that when I start this series this year I hope it is really really good because that is one of my top series that I plan on starting this year like I have not read from Sarah J Maas I want to start the Throne of Glass series and I also want to start um a Court of Throne and Roses series I don't know if that's going to be a series or a trilogy so I know they have a third but that um either just came out or was about to come out but um I haven't started this series yet also I also want to start that because I love a Beauty and the Beast you know retelling and that's what I from my understanding is like supposed to be a Beauty and the Beast retelling and Be Beauty and the Beast is like my favorite fairy tale down hands like one of my favorite fairy tales all like since I was small so definitely I definitely want to start reading from her and that is definitely like the top book that I hear people talk about on book two that I haven't read yet so I feel kind of even left out number six a book with red on the cover Red on the color. What was? I know, I know, I know. Red Queen by Victoria Avr. Red on the cover. I didn't even. I need to look. I didn't need to look. I was already red on the cover. Red Queen. Automatically. Number seven is a book with pink on the cover, and I think this is like the only book I had with pink on the cover, and that is. Tangled Webs by Lee Bros. And I read, also read this last year too and it's really good. And oh my god, I always talked about how this book gave me like a book gasm because when I took the cover off, it's like all pink and like pink is my favorite color. So, and it has like black on the, on the side. It's like pink and black and pink and white are my favorite two combos of colors. And oh my god, you guys, like this book is really fucking cute. And I don't think I've said a book gasm since I made the video with this book about it being a book gasm. And I also did a review on this book as well. I think if I didn't, I will link my review to it in Goodreads, but if I did the video, I'm going to link it on the eye. So you guys, love, I actually really did like this book, and this is like a historical fiction. Why don't I want to say historical fiction, because it's not technically using any, like, real history to play on, but it like goes, like, but it's set back, you know, in time. I think it's set back in 1820 or 100 percent wrong on both of those it is set in 1725 london so definitely go read this like i i liked it i think i gave it a four out of five or maybe like a 3.5 out of five i can't remember but i know i didn't give it a five out of five i know that it didn't do that much for me but i really did like this book so i th i think i liked it enough for, to re recommend it so you guys like can go and look at it pick it up it's a really short read it's not anything long it's real short and to the point so you guys should go read this number eight is you were given a box of chocolate 
what fictional boyfriend or girlfriend gave them to you and i got caught between two very you know very very fine men and one of them was edward off of twilight down on twilight heart you all should have known that was coming i was definitely team edward the whole twilight series because i would rather be with a vampire than a temperamental werewolf that if i piss him off which i piss people off a lot like especially because i aggravate my fiance just because i'm bored like we it wouldn't have worked it wouldn't have worked so i'm like definitely need a vampire love that we could live forever together so yeah definitely ever was one and then my second option was elias from an ember in the ashes and that's because you know you know he did things to me like read that book he did wonderful things to me it was just so steamy at some point in the book and i was like oh didn't expect that coming so definitely it was either be between elias and edward e -E. Matrix. Like, I can only imagine what Elias would look like if, like, they did a movie. Like, I don't know. I'm picturing kind of like a Thor thing going on with him. A little Chris a Chris Hemsworth uh, acting job is there for turning Ember Nash into a movie. They should definitely use him. Like, I don't know why, but I'm picturing him. They should, like, definitely use him. So, number nine is, like, a three-part question. The first part, the first part of the question is, you're alone on Valentine's Day. What book would you read? Now, for this part of the question, I would say... I would read um, Harry Potter. Of course, I would read that because it's not something that's going to make you depressed about being alone on Valentine's Day at all. Like, it's just something fun and magical and it's not really a love connection going on in this book. So, it's not like you're going to feel bad. Oh my God, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm alone on Valentine's Day. But they have love. So, you definitely want to read a book like that to be alone on Valentine's Day. And that's plus, that's really fun and fast paced and it's going to have your heart racing. I would recommend that book. I would definitely be reading that book if I was alone on Valentine's Day. The next part of the question is what TV show would you watch? And for this question, I said the originals. And if you guys don't know what the freaking originals are, where the hell are you? It's about this family of vampires and it's set in New Orleans, um, which they're not filming in New Orleans anymore. And I was so mad because they're on the second season. I was going to apply. I was going to like try to audition to be an extra on the show so I can get close to like Klaus or Elias. But then they moved filming to freaking Atlanta and I was just so upset about that because I was like, ah! <sighs> I wish I'd known for season one. I wish I would have. I would love to hear love interest there. Play out my fantasy, my vampire fantasy. And the last part of the question is what movie would you watch? And for this thing, I thought about two different movies. Um, one of them came out last year and one of them just came, yeah, well, both of them came out last year, what I'm talking about. Um, the first one is Four Brothers. Like, that's the movie I talk about, um, for my favorites, on my favorites video. And with my new crush in it, Mark Warburg. And oh my god, I think he is so sexy. And not just that, um, I would watch it for Valentine's Day because, again, it's not anything that's, you know mushy and gonna make you feel like oh i'm all alone it's like very action-packed you know like guns and stuff it's like it's it's like it's it's gonna keep your mind off the fact that you ain't got no man or girlfriend whatever um and the other movie that i thought i would watch would be almost christmas that movie just came out in november and oh my god you guys, if y'all have not seen that movie yet, you have to go see it. And I saw it because we borrowed my brother-in-law's fire stick, and it was so funny. Why would you not want to watch a funny movie on Valentine's Day when you're alone? It's not, it makes you laugh, like, it, it's going to make you happy versus you being depressed because you don't have someone else on Valentine's Day. <laughs> the tip and last question that we have is that you are in a bookstore, and all of a sudden you get hit by Cupid's arrow. What new release do you fall in love with? This was not hard since I haven't, I have read a couple new releases this year. Um, and my favorite one that I actually loved and my first read that I ever read from this author was my Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella and I definitely think you guys should go read this. I'll link the review um, down below that I did on my blog so you guys can go and take a look. I love this book so much. I see why everyone raves about her because this was my first book reading from her and it was so good and I can't wait to start reading more from her. Like I can't wait to read the Shopaholic series. At least start reading and I also want to find Finding, I also want to read Finding Audrey which is a book that I wanted to read. I think it came out last year and I wanted to read that also since it came out. So you guys that is my Valentine's Day tag. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I think you guys should tag. I think you guys should do this tag so I'm going to tag all of you guys to do it. I'm not going to tag anybody specifically. I'm going to tag just everyone to do this tag and um, link your tags down below after you're done doing it so I can see it. And I hope you guys like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!